Hi, let me see the slip gauges and its features. Slip gauges are also called as precision blocks or Johansson gauges. These are used as a measuring blocks made of hardened alloy steel of rectangular cross section with 30 cross 10 mm. These slip gauges are available in standard set of 32 pieces, 45 pieces and 88 pieces. These gauges first harden to resist the wear, then carefully stabilize. Stabilized is nothing but continuous heating and cooling from 40 degrees Celsius to 200 degrees Celsius. The longer gauges in the set and length bars are hardened only locally at their measuring ends. After being hardened blocks, they are carefully finished by the lapping process. Flatness and accuracy that any two such faces when perfectly clean, they run together with a perfect. Let me see the ringing. Ringing is removing the atmospheric air between the two mating surfaces of gauge blocks so that the blocks stick together due to the vacuum. The following four steps will show the ringing. First, we have to slide the one over another. Step two, then we have to twist up to the parallel line. We have to twist then. Finally, both gauges will meet together. Calibration of slip gauges Comparators are used to calibrate the slip gauges with the reference of master standards. Let me see the care should be taken for the slip gauges. Due to high initial cost in order to preserve the accuracy of the slip gauges should be maintained under the great care during their use. Factors must be considered while using the slip gauges. Gauges should be used and atmosphere free from dust. When not in use, they should be kept in the respective case only. Before ringing the gauge blocks, ensure that the faces are perfectly clean. After use, a good quality grease should be applied on its surfaces to avoid the contact between the air and slip gauges. Let me see the classification of slip gauges. AA grade slip gauges. These are master slip gauges we are using for reference purpose. B grade slip gauges. These are working slip gauges. The workshop type B grade slip gauges are finished on the measuring faces approximately within 20 micro for flatness and parallelism. A slip gauges are accurate plus or minus 4 microns per meter. A grade is guaranteed up to plus or minus 4 microns. B grid is guaranteed up to plus or minus 8 microns. The guaranteed error is not divided for the gauge blocks are less than 25 mm. These are guaranteed only above the 25 mm of gauge blocks only. Grade 2. These are workshop type slip gauges used for setting machine tools, cutters, checking dimensions roughly. And grade 1 slip gauges used for more precision work in good class tool room used to setting uh, sign bars, sign tables, setting dial indicators these are and zero grade it is an inspection grade of slip gauge used in confined tool room and machine shop for inspection this means inspection department only access this grade and grade double zero this grade would kept in the standard tool room, used in high precision works in the form of error detection in instruments. And, and last one is the calibration grade. These are the special grade with the actual size of the slips stated or calibrated on a special chart supplied with the set of slip gauges. This chart must be consulted 
when making up the dimension. Let me see the features of the slip gauges. Corrosion resistance. These are unaffected by water, acids and alkalis because all the gauges are hardened. Simple maintenance. No requirement of any anti-corrosion treatment because all are specially hardened. No adverse effect due to fingering while using. Superior winging ability to uniform and close grain structure enables the block rigidly rung together and easy to operate. Dents and burrs are not easily produced on the gauge surfaces. And impact resistance, wear resistance and thermal expansion. These all are the features of the slip gauges. Selection of slip gauges. We are spending lot of time for selecting the slip gauges. Let me see the procedure to selecting the slip gauges. For example, we, uh, we have here the dimensions of 58.975 mm. We have to select the slip gauges for these dimensions. Step 1. Start from the last decimal place. Here the decimal place is 5. That is 0 0.005 mm. So we have to select the slip gauge of 1.005 mm. Now, we have to reduce with the main dimensions 58.975 minus 1.005. The remaining value is 57.970. The last digit is changed to 0. The step 2 is select the second decimal place. Here the second decimal place is 7. So select the gauge of 1.47 millimeter. Now 1.47 we have to reduce the 1.47 from this value. The remaining value is 56.5. Step 3. Select the third decimal place. Now the third decimal place is 5. So 6.5. That is now we have to choose the gauge of 6.5 millimeter. Now reduce the value from this 56.5. The remaining value is 50 millimeter. The last step is select the full block of 50 millimeter now this 50 millimeter so the total value is 58.975 millimeter this way we have to select the slip gauge where we can use this slip gauge this can be used as a reference standard for transferring the dimensions can use in comparator and sign bar can be used for testing and calibration of instruments in metrology. These are the references. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you.